Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, Sean Greg B, and today it is Wednesday, so it's time for Rivalry Night. It's Stanley Cup edition version of 1999-2000 Upper Deck MVP uh, Hobby Box. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Uh, if you've missed any of the previous years that uh, we've done some hockey cards, uh, check it out up there. Head on down, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, hit that notification bell as well. Hit the thumbs up because you like the video, hit that share button and share this with everyone you know because they're going to like it too. Head on down in the comments, say hi, let's talk about uh, 1999-2000 hockey or whatever else you want to talk about. Uh, and then check out the links in the description for my blog, podcast, and other social media. All right, so yeah, we're going through the years, still going through the years. We've got made it to 99-2000. Uh, this is Upper Deck MVP. This is a Stanley Cup edition. Um, I don't know if this is, I don't know how many times they did this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not totally familiar with the Upper Deck MVP product as, as much as other products, I guess. But um, the Stanley Cup edition was basically kind of an updated version um, that they released later in the season. Uh, you know, because MVP usually is like one of the first products that comes out every year. So this is like the updated version. It's got the guys on the new teams and whatever else and stuff like that. So, yeah, instead of just calling it Series 1 and Series 2, they do like the regular version. And then there's the Stanley Cup edition. So there are some rookies in here, but there's no there's the C C H L prospect subset. Um, no one really crazy. Josh and Heck and I think uh, Nick uh, Antropov are like the big rookies. I was looking over this checklist right now. Um, yeah, Nikolai Antropov, and yeah, so the, no one major, no one major. But what we're looking for mostly in here, I think, is the um, inserts. The inserts kind of big thing. There's souvenir cards. Uh, there's piece of history cards. There's autographs you can get out of here. Um, so look for hobby exclusive game used souvenir cards. So I mean, there's the odds right there. I mean. The odds of getting something crazy are not good. I mean, a piece of history, or I guess that's a 50. Game used souvenir, one in, th one in 130. Uh, I mean, there are some cool stuff to be had, though, so hopefully we get some of that stuff. Um, uh, upper Deck, again, again, being weird with 28 packs per box. I don't know why 28. But they did that a bunch of times for some reason, in especially in the 90s. 28 packs? Like, normally it's either, like, 24 or 36, but they... 28. I don't, I don't know. So, 10 cards per pack. We'll do a stack uh, today, next week, so forth and so on. Um, and so we're done with the stacks and the packs and the box. Um, so hopefully we find some cool stuff. You know there's like a, ya there's a Yeiserman stuff in here that's pretty valuable. Uh, souvenir cards and and um, autographs and stuff. So hopefully we'll pull something crazy. Uh, packs all jostling around. Got that weird like yellowing of the packs i don't understand that so let's one two three four five six seven packs all right yeah the weird like sh uh, fading of the packs i i don't know i don't know what was going on in the 90s with some of the stuff like because we saw that with some of the other the other products i've opened too um yeah for some reason the packs started fading i don't know i guess it was whatever material they were using uh, but again, there's the odds. Um, so let's go over those real quick. Um, tw uh, 20 Stanley Cup talent. Uh, that's uh, one in five. So she get should we get a bunch of those? 20, 10 Cup contenders, one in nine. So we should get a few of those. Uh, 10 Gold Memories, one, tw one in 14. So we get should get a couple of those. 12 season, uh, second season super, uh, second season snipers. Excuse me. Should get one of those. 10 Clutch performers. Should get one of those. And then other things we might get, it'd be cool if we did, Playoff Heroes, Super Silver Script. Oh, Silver Script 1 and 2, so we'll get a bunch of those. Uh, Gold Script, man, those are numbered, so who knows. Great combination. That's going to be tough. Game Use Souvenirs, that's going to be tough. And then a piece of history. I, th I swear there was autos, too. Maybe not. I thought there was autos. I thought I saw some autos on the checklist. I don't know. Whatever. Let's get into it. See what we can find. Uh, Dame, Dame Malenkow. Uh, we got the silver script, Peter Nedved. Let's throw that one up there. Um, just make a pile of those. We'll get a bunch of those. Tom Barrasso. We got a um, cup contenders of Jeff Friesen. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, Derek Morris. No, no uh, bricking, no stickiness. That's good. That's a good sign. Brad May. Uh, we got uh, Dennis Shivdicki. CHL Prospect, Radic Bonk, 
I'll throw the prospect cards on down too, just because there's some guys in here that I might have missed. Radic Bonk, Mike Dunham, and Doug Waite rounding things out there. All right. Obviously, we're looking for you know stars and Hall of Famers from the era as well, because um, there definitely are some of those. There's the Antropov card I was talking about earlier, so that's cool. Throw that on down there. Um, Vince LeCavalier, uh, silver script card. Stanley Cup talent, we got uh, Paul Correa. And Golden Memories, Steve Yeiserman. That's a cool one. Uh, Kenny J Johnson, uh, Corey Galley. Gary Galley, what did I say? Cor Why did I say, yeah. Mike Keane, I can't read. Keith Kachuk. Roberto Luongo, Mike Madonna. That was a good little stretch of guys. Some stars and Hall of Famers and stuff. Um, yeah. All right. Next pack. We've got CHL prospect Alexander Buterlin. Throw him down the prospects there. Uh, Robert Dome. Um, Jen Halvac. Uh, Dar Danius Zubris. Chris Oz, excuse me, Osgood, Doug Gilmore, another prospect of Yaroslav Kurostek. Got Jerome Aginla, Luke Robitaille, and Jeff O'Neill rounding things out there. All right, next pack. Showing off uh, Jeremy Roenick on the back there. Drake Barahowski. Sean Burke, uh, gold script card. We've got Joe Thornton, Chris Gratton, um, Mike Leclerc, Andrew Castles, Alexander Korolik, 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 something like that. Norm Maracle, Maracle, Dan Cloutier, and Jeremy Roenick rounding things out for that pack. All right, next pack up. See what we can find in here. Now there's another CHL prospect of Michael Zigomanis, Ryan Smith. We got Brian Byron Ritchie, excuse me, Travis Green, Rob Blake, the Stanley Cup talent of John LeClaire. Um, we got uh, Justin Papineau, CHL prospect, Sean Van Allen, Ted Drury, and Brian Smolinski. Fun story about Brian Smolinski real quick, and I may have told this before, I don't remember. Um, if you have NHL 95, and you take the Bruins, because he used to be on the Bruins, uh, NHL 95, um, which he wasn't even on the Bruins in 95, but, oh, actually 94, 95, I guess it was when 95 is based on, so yeah, he was. Take, take, for, take Brian Smolinski and try to switch him in the lineup, just if you're just playing regular well, one lineup, no, no line changes. Regular lineup, uh, switch Brian Smolinski with Cam Neely for some reason. Instead of switching him, it will put in another Brian Smolinski. And then, like, he acts, he's all buggy and weird in the game. It's it's really funny. Like, sometimes you control him, sometimes you can't control him, sometimes he just disappears. Other times he'll show up randomly, and then he'll start cheering like he scored a goal, but the game's still going. Really weird. If you have NHL 94. Five for the Sega Genesis. I don't know. That's the only thing I kind of remember with Brian Smolinski. It has nothing to do with him playing uh, actual hockey. But fun side story. Um, break out your old Genesis. Grab a copy of NHL 95 and go. go. I mean, you could probably get an emulator and stuff like that, too. So I don't know if it works, though, on the emulator. It might, you might actually need the card to do it. I don't know. Probably does. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Johan Grapalov. I've uh, got the Keith Kachuk Silver Scripps card. I've got Theo Fleury. Sergei Fedorov, Patrick Eliash, Flip Koopa, uh, CHL prospect card of Brad Moran. Uh, then we got Ed Belfour, running out of space for these guys, Arthur Zerbe, and Dean Sylvester. All right, last pack for today. Uh, again, come back and come back next week. We'll do another stack of packs. Come back every day. I've got videos posted every day. Uh, you know, it's. it's Fun stuff here in the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. Um, so, yeah. Enjoy. Um, watch all the videos. Artem Cherbrov, a uh, prospect card of Andre Sheffer. Todd Harvey, Rob Blake. Then we got Sergei Fedorov again. Sergei, Bez yeah. Sergei Berezin. Uh, Alexei Zhamnov, Steve Hines, and 
Nathan Dempsey, and Owen Nolan rounding things out there. All right, there we go. Got some cool inserts. We got uh, a couple Stanley Cup talents. We got uh, Golden Memories, a Cup Contenders, a bunch of prospect cards, a bunch of silver script cards uh, that are kind of on camera. But uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Come back next week with another stack. Come back every day, videos. Uh, subscribe, like, share. Uh, stay safe, have fun, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.